Game four of the Stanley Cup final as the Tampa Bay Lightning host the Colorado Avalanche. Home team trying to get back into this thing. How about Nazim Kadri returning to the Avalanche uh, for game four. He broke his thumb. So first game back. We needed overtime here. Eight to go. Arturi Lekanen finds Kadri in transition. Shoots. Where does the puck go though? That's the question. Well they say they scored right. Selfishness is on. It's a goal. That's what everybody believes. So let's look closely at this. You need slow-mo to understand it and to appreciate it. The shot does beat Andre Vasilevsky, but look where it ends up. Getting caught in the top of the netting. Yes, that's a goal. My goodness. They can't believe it. Here's how the goal sounded on the Avalanche Radio Network. Quickly ahead, Nazem Kadri inside the circle. Kadri! Where's the puck? How did that not go in? It did. It did go in. It did? It did. We it won. did! He scores! Nazem Kadri! Yeah. The Kadri man can! I didn't see it, but they did! Uh, I mean, I've been waiting for this my whole life, so I figured I'd stop waiting and just uh, try to join the party. So uh, I'm just grateful I'm able to be in this position. And, uh, you know, with this group of guys, it you know couldn't have written a better story. So I'm, I'm grateful. Of all people to put that away, right? But let's take a closer look. We have an issue. Colorado has, count them, six men on the ice as Kadri comes on. However, the man coming off, Nathan McKinnon, he's out near center ice. So yeah, Kadri makes a beautiful move here for the goal. His first game back since June 4th, he gets the game-winning goal in overtime. First career playoff OT goal, it's 3-2. They take the 3-1 series lead. But are you kidding me? Six men on the ice? I told you, there's drama everywhere. Listen to John Cooper post-game. Just watch this team, what they've gone through and the battling that's gone on and, and we're all in this together, players, coaches, refs, everybody. But it just, it just, this one's, this one's going to sting m much more than others just because I think it was taken on, it was potential, I don't know, I, it's hard for me, this is going to be hard for me to speak. I'm going to have to speak, I'll speak with you tomorrow. You're going to see what I mean when you see the winning goal. And I, my heart breaks for the players because we probably still should be playing. Um, I'll be available tomorrow. Wow. 13-year NHL veteran Dominic Moore joins us now here on SportsCenter. It's good to have you in here, especially as a former member of the Tampa Bay Lightning. And you understand John Cooper's emotions there. And it's probably best he just stopped and said, let, 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 let me wait until tomorrow to speak more. Uh, the NHL in a statement said this. In discussing the winning goal, each of the four officials advised they did not see a too many men on the ice situation on the play. What do you say? The NHL basically acknowledging they missed the call. And I, I feel for John Cooper. I feel for those players. I've been in that situation. I know what that feeling feels With like. With too many men on the well, ice? Let's or? not forget the Lightning themselves benefited from the exact same situation last year against the New York Islanders, oh. where the Lightning had too many players on the ice in a big goal, a go ahead goal in a playoff game in the Eastern Conference Finals. These things happen. It's sports, it happens in hockey just like it happens in any sport. You know, the fluidity of the line changes, they happen so fast, so quickly, yeah. they're really hard to pick up. Obviously, the refs would have wanted to have that one back, but these things do happen, and for the Lightning, they're going to have to have a short memory. Okay, so real quick, since you have been literally in this position, in the conference finals, not, not in the Stanley Cup final, but as important almost, right? What do you say as a player to get over this? Because now down 3-1 versus 2-2, potentially this is a completely different mentality. Yeah, Stanley Cup Finals down 3-1. You know, when I was with the Lightning, we came back from a 3-1 deficit against the Pittsburgh Penguins. It starts with just stealing one game on the road. Then you got the opportunity to come back, capitalize on your home crowd, and then in a game seven, anything can happen. Unfortunately, the Lightning are banged up. They have a ton yeah. of guys injured. This has been a war of attrition. They've sacrificed a lot. That's why it was so heartbreaking for them. And for Colorado, they've only they've had two sweeps in the playoffs. And they're on their way to potentially another five-game victory. They're 15-3 and three record in the playoffs. So they've been dominant. They absolutely yeah. deserve to be in a position to raise the Stanley Cup on Friday night. So your gut is that this is over. Is I that what I'm so. taking from you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. unfortunately for yeah. the Lightning fans. Uh, but I think we're going to have a new Stanley Cup champion mm. uh, in the NHL on Friday night. You hate to see any kind of controversy, no matter what the sport, but especially at this time of the season with so much on the line. But as you said, this is part of the game, part of sports. Dominic Moore, thank you.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.